Hi there, I'm Janet, Confirmation Coordinator. We talked earlier about In the Beginning 2.0, which began with your baptism into the church. The early churches, you know, they were early Christians, they were trying to figure out what to do with all they had learned and what to do with all that Jesus had taught them. As young Christians, you too are still trying to figure out, I as an adult and older adult are still trying to figure out what God wants from each of us. You were baptized in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And with that Spirit come the great gifts of the Spirit. And we can see these gifts at work from the beginning of time. We have the wisdom of Solomon, the wisest man that ever was. The prophets who kept telling the people to return to God, return to God, had an understanding and a knowledge that we all could use. Abraham had to depend on right judgment to know what to do. Do I, do I leave my family and go to a land I don't know? Do I sacrifice my son? He had to use right judgment. We can always talk about the courage of Moses who had to lead millions of people back to the promised land. We had King David who had a reverence for God. He tried over and over and over to honor God in everything he could do. And then we have Adam and Eve. They were right there in the middle of the awe and wonder of God. And then they rejected it and had got booted out of the garden, but that's all right, life went on. But they had that awe and wonder of God. So when you are confirmed, these gifts of the, of the Spirit are strengthened in you. You already have them. That just strengthens them, and you are, it sets you up for a, a very, very good life of faith. But don't wait until then. You can call on these gifts now, right here. Wisdom, understanding, right judgment, courage, knowledge, reference, wonder, and awe of God. Think about how these gifts, how you can call on these gifts over and over again. So check the menu each month, and we'll have items here to help you in preparation for confirmation. Just for you, I have a hen who can count her own eggs. I call her a mathematician.